Hello, my name is Thomas Johansson and I'm the project lead for Sengoku. Today I will talk to you a little bit about factions. We have three factions in the game. These are the Buddhists, the Shintoists and the Portuguese Christians. Each faction will have a relationship with each clan in the game. If you have a high relationship you will get, get a unique bo bonus per faction. This can include, for example, if you have a good relationship with the Portuguese you will get access to European firearms. If you have a good relationship with the Buddhists, you will get access to, to fanatical warrior monks. The role of a faction is to spread their influence throughout Japan. They do this via their own unique buildings. And here comes the problem for the player. Each province only has space for one religious building. So if you want to build another church, you will have to tear down the existing faction's building, thereby greatly upsetting the faction that had the old building. Once you advance in the game and become the leader of your own clan, the relationship with the faction will become your responsibility. And here comes the next problem for you. Say for example that you want to increase the relationship with the Portuguese, you want to build more churches. You have a problem, and that is that not all your provinces are under your direct control, but instead under the control of your vassals. And your vassal, he might not be too keen on tearing down his ancient Buddhist temple filled with angry monks just so you can buy more muskets. The religious buildings also represent another facet of managing your lands. And that is, they represent what kind of influence the religious factions has over various provinces in your country. Suppose you make one of the factions upset, then these religious buildings will start spawning rebels that you, have, you will have to fight. We hope that all these things will create an interesting challenge for the player. You will have to navigate between demanding feudal lords, scheming vassals and angry monks.